Hello and welcome to Playpen Activity section. My name is Poonam Bhardwaj and I've been associated with the field of education for over 30 years. Preschool education means a lot of areas of development for children that are very different from those that are incorporated in formal schooling. You've got cognitive development, social emotional development, fine motor development, large motor development. So today we are going to talk about fine motor development and I'm going to demonstrate one activity that will help them in this area of growth. Now fine motor development refers to the development of the small muscles of a child's fingers. If they are to be ready for writing, well I must mention here before I proceed any further that parents expect that a child should start writing on the first date at school which is very wrong because the small muscles of the child are not yet sufficiently developed to grasp the pencil and to write. So in order to do that we need to have certain activities that will enable the child's fine muscles, the small muscles of the fingers to develop, grow and become stronger. Only then can they grasp the pencil and start writing. There are many, many activities that you can help a child to uh, foster fine motor development. But today I'm going to take up one of these and it is thumb painting. So the process is very simple. You just need some paints, watercolors, a paint brush, some water, a towel to wipe your hands, some crayons, color pencils, sketch pen to do the finishing. Procedure is extremely simple. It's called thumb painting. So it's obvious that what you do is you take a paint brush, dip it in some paint, smear the paint on the thumb and then just make the impression. Okay. I'm going to be making some bluebirds sitting on a wire, but you can make many, many things from this. You can make flowers, you can make the sun, you can make animals, birds, fish, it's endless. So this is what it's going to look like. They are just thumbprints on a piece of paper and when this dries, we are going to finish it off to make it look like birds. Now we'll make some butterflies, so for that we need another colour. And we are just going to clean our paintbrush and our fingers. Now when you're doing this with kids, you will have to smear the paint on the child's thumb and guide them on where to put their thumb to make the impression. <coughs> okay, so we are going to make some beautiful orange butterflies. Again, preference of your thumb, right thumb easier, left, whichever. You can do it according to your convenience. Now because we are making the butterfly, we will just put the thumb at an angle. Again smear some paint, put it on the downward side to complete the wing. Take some more paint, smear the thumb, make the third wing of the butterfly and the fourth. That's one butterfly complete. In a similar manner, I'm going to make another butterfly. So again, I put some paint on my thumb and I make four thumb prints in order to create the butterfly. You're going to have to wait for this paint to dry before you can do finishing. So keep some time for that. Now again, I'm cleaning my thumb as well as the brush. Use a towel to clean it up. Now I want to make a sun. So I'm going to take some yellow paint. Smear it on my thumb and make the circle of the sun and I will finish this up with crayons or colour pencils, the rays I will make with colour pencils, so then we will have a beautiful sun. Now if you want, you have got some paint on your thumb already and we can make our butterfly multicoloured, 
So on the orange wings, I will just dab a touch of yellow and here I have a beautiful multicolored butterfly. I can do the same for the other one or I can do it in another color or I can leave it as a single colored butterfly. Right? Now we are going to make some tiny flowers at the bottom. We can have red flowers, blue flowers. Okay, I will go with red. So you can just use your little finger now because the flowers will be tiny and we can have a couple of red flowers here that again we are going to finish off with color pencils. Now I am going to make some green frogs, right? So just to make the frogs, again I take green paint, smear it on my thumb and make the head and the body of the frog. You can see the green paint at the bottom, the green thumb prints. So I have made two thumb prints there, one below the other and that is going to be my frog. So I will just make a couple of frogs more with some more green paint. Here we go and maybe just a smaller one for which I will use my index finger. So you can use all your fingers like this and your kids are going to have fun. This is messy art and messy art is always fun. Make sure to keep your towel handy and keep wiping the hands, keep cleaning the brushes. You can keep multiple brushes for different colors because you are dealing with a number of kids in the classroom. Even if you are doing an online class uh, on thumb painting, get the parents to have all this material ready and you keep doing it and you keep showing them just as I am showing you so that they can follow whatever you are doing. So now we are done with the paints, we can move this to a side. We just need to finish our thumb paint. So now this is what the thumb prints we have put. I am just going to now show you how to finish it. You will need a sketch pen or a black marker pen and some color pencils, crayons, whatever. So first we will make the birds. So we make the eyes of the bird. Just make sure that the thumbprints are dry before you start doing this. Otherwise it will smear. So one day you can spend on just doing the thumbprints and the next day you can do the finishing. So if you can see this little bird, I have just made some eyes, feet and a little feathery thing on top of the head and we will finish all the birds in this manner. Eyes, a beak and two little feet, hair, eyes, beak, some hair. If you can see what I am doing, we are going to do the eyes, beak, some hair on the head. Now you can see that all our birds have eyes, beak, a little feathery thing on top of the head and two feet. Now they can't be dangling in midair, so we will just make a wire on which they are sitting. So if you can just put a black line across and you have these electrical wires on which you often see birds sitting. So we have drawn straight lines just to show the wires on which these birds are sitting. Now we move on to the butterflies, they are pretty much complete. We just have to give them their feelers, maybe make a little more design in the center. And the butterflies are pretty much ready. You can just make some design in the center, make a body. And your butterflies are ready just with a little uh, strokes of your pen. 
Now we come to the frogs, again we have to give our frog some eyes, a big smile that goes right across the face and tiny feet. So that pretty much completes our frogs. I am going to do the same for all the frogs. We make some eyes on them, a big smile right across the face and little feet. You can see these frogs taking shape, they are looking like frogs now. And we have another tiny one here on the side, which is again going to get a big smile, eyes and four feet. You've got all the frogs ready. Now let's finish up the flowers. These are little red dots, they can be flowers, they can also be um, ladybugs. We can also make ladybugs out of them, very simple, just give the ladybug a little mouth, two little antlers, some spots on the back and some feet. There you go, you have a pretty little ladybug, right? So we can turn another one into a ladybug and the rest can be flowers. So let's give our ladybug some spots, some tiny feet to crawl on, there you are. Now we have two ladybugs and then the rest can be flowers. I am going to use some crayons to finish off. If you remember we had a sun, let's make some sun's rays now. So out come the sun's rays, lighting up the place spreading its beautiful sunshine. We can make some blue clouds if you like. A few clouds in the sky here and there. You ask all the children to use their imagination to complete the picture in any manner that they wish. Right? You can have a little pond, you can have flowers growing in the pond. Okay? Now we will make some leaves. There you are. We have got the sun, we have got the clouds and now we are going to complete our little flowers, give them some stems, some leaves. There is no right or wrong way to do any drawing. That is the beauty of art. It all depends on the perception of the person who is creating the art. So here you have some gorgeous flowers and you can do some grass. Frogs are happily playing in the grass. There are some ladybugs. Now here like I said, it is all up to your imagination what you can create. You can have fish in the water, you can have a little pond with some little fishes swimming about here and there, right? But for now, this is a pretty much complete drawing. You can keep adding to this as you like. Get your kids to use their imagination. Ask them what all they can add to this. Let them experiment and have fun. And in doing so, they are not only using their imagination, having fun, playing with colors, playing with textures, but the most vital thing, they are helping their little fingers grow strong. If you have liked the video, do hit the like button, share it with your friends share it with people you know and do subscribe to the channel because I will be sharing many many more wonderful videos that are full of knowledge and that will help your school grow. Thank you very much.